Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little bit of an intro to shed antler hunting for you in the meantime so that you're a little bit prepped when we finally do get a chance when the smoke clears to have a little get together and do a practice. So first of all, shed antler hunting of course is training the dogs eventually to go out in the woods and be able to find shed, shed antlers, antlers that have been shed by a variety of deer, whether they're moose, elk, and certainly in our area, mule deer and white-tailed deer. So to train them to do that, we want to have a lot of value for the antlers. We'll just talk about the antlers and the good sizes to start with are something about this size. If you can and if your dog will pick those up, great. Now note about handler, antlers. If your dogs have been doing a lot of retrieving, they're used to maybe picking up a dumbbell, soft, chewy, different texture, maybe uh, a dumbbell which is hard plastic or could be wood and different things. The antler is going to have spikes. It's going to taste different. It's very hard. It also has, and you can probably see it, it has some bumps on it. So the texture is different as well. If they're fresh, you can see where this has come off from the deer. It can smell very different as well. So it's a very different thing for them to pick up. So the first thing we want to do is have them enjoy picking them up. If they're brand new, they may need something smaller. And I just bought these, like Homes Alive or Social Pet. And you can start with something like this and just getting them to sniff it, reward, hold it, reward, take it, reward. And I'll be demoing that a little bit with Gabby in a sec. So you can start with that, something a lot smaller. Gabby, when I started, would only do something like this. She would not pick up an antler that big. Then I moved into something like this. I bought this. It has been cut, but it's been professionally cut so it doesn't smell. This is a bigger antler. Weighs a little bit more. That's the other thing is the weight is very different than like a, a toy or a dumbbell. So the weight is very different. You can see the texture is different. And both dogs will pick these up now, including now we've moved on to this. The other thing we've purchased is something called rack wax and also if you can see that rack wax and we've just put a little tip and I'll warn you this is like cocaine for dogs as soon as I opened this up the dogs went crazy so we just put a little tiny bit here I saw one demo where they said actually put a ton on uh-uh don't put a lot on maybe put a little bit on the edges and that's about it it will smell like the antlers you have out in the woods. So again, we're going to be progressing into getting the antlers. If you don't have an antler, what can you use? I would start with something hard. And here's a great big spoon that's big, heavy, little spatula, wooden spatula we have. And that would be great to start training the dog to hold on because it's got the same hardness, the same length of volume that you'd be seeing in an antler. So that's a little discussion about antlers. I've got quite a few to start us off and where we'll be going with the antlers. And I'll do a little demo now with Gabby on holds and getting her excited about that because she's the one that's not very good with it. And we'll also do a demo on, in my backyard, having them find a couple of antlers. And then read the holes. So here's an example where Gabby doesn't really know this thing. She's gonna go, huh. So I want her to pay attention. I'm telling her it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing. Yes, good girl. Good. Now she's a little bit retriever trained, right? So she knows to put things in her mouth and that's a good thing. Take it. Yes. Good girl. Take it. Hold. Whoops. Hold. Whoops. Get it. Yes. So take it is take it in your mouth. Hold is keep it in your mouth. And get it is if I accidentally drop it, get it. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Get it please. Good. And I kind of insist she gives it back. You know what I mean? Have fun. Okay, this is Gabby's turn. She's just tied up here. I basically had to have my cleats on coming down the hill. I'm going to hide this one just sort of at the end of the I 
it quite well to this. Okay, find it. Yes, found. Good girl. So she's a good example. She won't really pick it up, but she's sniffing it. What's a good girl? Good find it. Good find it. Get it. Yes, get it. Good, good girl. Yeah, so she will get it now. Where she wasn't doing that two days ago. She will get it. If I'm about a foot or two away from her. Good. And you can see tons of rewarding now for this. Good. see that rack wax they have they'll have no trouble sticking these hey I'm just gonna do a short little demo about how I hide these in the backyard I tend to so you know put them like this so when the dog is picking them up they don't poke their eyes with the antler I will lay them down flat right now I'm not worried about whether my scent is on these or I'm tracking and they're smelling it from my track I just want them to find the antler both of these have had a little bit of rack wax put on the bottom so I'll hide both of these when you start out you want to make it super super easy to find so I'll show you an easy one that I'll hide as well as one that I'm now putting them in the bushes for Emma so she has to go up and do a little bit more searching to find them so here we go first one I'm just going to take along here Remember when we're training with the dogs, we always walk behind the dog. We don't run. So I'll try to get out of the way so you can watch her find these. So we walk behind the dog and then we'll reel a lot of rewarding. I do a verbal yes when they find the antler, uh, but the judge, when you're being judged, would say found. Level one, they just have to find one antler. Would be out in the open like that and in a very much larger area. Level two, they've got to find two and they must retrieve to at least three feet or ideally to hand. Okay, here it comes. I'm going to bring Emma out to find them. that with them as well so that she gets that. Get it? Yes! Good. And we're going to end on 
on that nice note, where she leaned down, picked it up, was not chewing on it. But that's how much they love 